ANC KwaZulu-Natal is celebrating its 108th anniversary in Ugu on the south coast. The gathering will be addressed by ANC Secretary General Ace Makashule. I want to get the very latest with regards to the story and bring in SABC news reporter Ayanda Mklongo, who's standing by. Ayanda, a very good morning to you. What's uh, likely to top the agenda there today? Yeah, good morning to you, Blaine. Good morning to uh, our viewers. Of course, we're coming to you live uh, from the uh, Ugu uh, sports field here in the area of uh, Port Chepston, where uh, just a second ago, and I'm probably just going to ask uh, my colleague Tulani just to pan a little bit and you just feel the mood and the atmosphere of uh, the ANC uh, members that have come from mainly uh, this uh, area, which is under the ANC's lower south coast region, but also other parts of uh, the province of well it's scorching uh, the sun is out playing the heat is uh, very 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 hot out here but that has not dampened the spirits of uh, these uh, ANC members who are out here today to celebrate as you said uh, the ANC's 108th birthday of course uh, today it is a bit of a belated uh, birthday celebrations uh, this happening about two weeks uh, after the uh, main birthday uh, celebrations, but as you can possibly hear behind me, uh, the singing, the cheers, a great deal of excitement for the ANC members. And of course, interesting too uh, for them is what uh, the party's uh, Secretary General Esma Khashule uh, will be delivering in this uh, message. There's a lot of expectation, of course, uh, from uh, ANC members. As you know, Blaine, maybe for the sake of our viewers as well, just to give them a bit of a status of the province of Natal. Currently, it has about 11, it has 11 regions and currently of those uh, regions, uh, this region where we are in the lower south coast region is one of the regions that was uh, disbanded and it is currently under a, a task team and there are two other regions, Etewin of course being uh, the country's uh, biggest region for the ANC as well as in Peter Maritzburg, in the area of Peter Maritzburg, the Moses Mabida region but in other regions as well, certain uh, issues as well, which uh, today these ANC members will want to hear. It's an important year uh, for the ANC. A lot is going to be happening, but in the ANC's biggest province, there's certainly a lot of expectation on what lead the leaders are going to be telling uh, their members. It's also, of course, going to be preparations are going to be starting for uh, next year's uh, local government uh, elections. And so there's going to be a great deal of work. But I think a lot of people who are out here want to know what is going to be the future. When are these uh, uh, elections are going to be held? And uh, what are the plans uh, for the ANC in this uh, province uh, going uh, forward? But let me now bring in my uh, guest, Njabulon Zuza, who is a PC member here in the province of uh, Guazunatal. But he was also the main organizer, I'm told, of uh, today's uh, event. Jabulon, thank you very much for uh, joining us. Obviously, the people behind you, uh, we see more buses uh, are coming through. Uh, I, just, I just spoke to some of you ANC leaders, quite excited about today. It is a belated birthday celebrations, but nevertheless, it does feel uh, like today is the actual birthday of the ANC. Yes, today the ANC in Guazulu Natal is holding its 108th celebration for the ANC birthday. And uh, you can see the mood is jovial, the people have come in in their numbers. But what is mostly important for us is that what who we have here are members of the ANC who are here to take marching orders from the leadership on what must be done in the current year to change the lives of our people. And that is why is at the center of this statement that will be delivered here today by both the chairperson of the province and the secretary general of the African National Congress. Jabal, as a PEC member, just look back on last year, a number of issues that we are dealing with as a PEC at this moment in this particular area. Um, it falls under the lower south coast region, which is a region that is yet to go to its regional conference. So they've been out without a leadership for quite some time. It's not the only one. There's the three, of course, Eteguini, Moses Mapide. We know uh, in the Zengambanza uh, as well. There are challenges in that uh, region. Just as in terms of uh, when or can we expect these uh, provincial, uh, these regional conferences to take place? In about a week or so, we're going to have a PEC meeting and the Lekutla, which will then turn the way forward on how we're going to deal with the rebuilding of structures. But what makes us happy is that you can see with the 
people who are coming here today is an indication of what is happening at a grassroots and the grassroots level. And you can see that these are comrades who are coming from branches of the ANC, which shows that where it matters the most, the ANC is alive. All that we have to do in the current year is to make sure that we set up the structures and then prepare ourselves for the upcoming local government elections. What has been the holdup? I mean, last year as a PC, you were dealing with these regions. What exactly has been the challenges? Why haven't you been able to hold these permits? I mean, at some point, they were even threats by some regions that they're going to go to court because they wanted to force the leadership of the, the ANC in this province to allow these regions to go to conference. Some of the issues have been evolving around the new membership system that has to be implemented and the decision that was taken that Congresses, conferences that must sit of the ANC must now sit under the new membership system. But all is well now because we've recently been training branches on the new membership system, which means there is a clear way forward moving forward. So part of the things that have contributed is a new membership system to make sure that we deal with issues such as gatekeeping, to make sure that we rebuild the ANC as a modern organization. And that is a core of our issues. And of course, I mean, some of the challenges in these regions led to uh, spilled into the municipalities. As we speak now, uh, Newcastle uh, was shut down uh, uh, for at least two days because of challenges. Though they're linked to the municipality, but there's also talk that it is a result of uh, the infighting and factionism within that uh, region. And so, uh, I, I, and I know Newcastle has also been one that is the ANC leaders you've been trying to deal with, but to the point now that it's now affecting a service delivery. Well, I will not want us uh, to create perceptions on issues that we have not really dealt with internally on what are the causes in some areas and I will request that we give the provincial executive committee some space to deal with the issues and when those decisions have been taken and proper analysis have been made the provincial secretary will then communicate those decisions but what is important today is that the ANC is celebrating 108 years here in Wazulu Natal branches have came through, which is a signal that we do have strong branches. All that we have to do is organize ourselves better and move forward and make sure that we deliver the services of our people. Jabulu Zuzza, thank you so much for your time. Jabulu Zuzza, PEC member here in the province of Kwasinatel, of course, just uh, taking us through on the importance of uh, this uh, day for themselves as the ANC, saying that these ANC members from this region and of course others are here to listen to their leaders as they chart the way forward uh, for the ANC here in Kwasinatel. We have said that it is a province that has a number of uh, challenges. And so, as he said, that um, in those uh, regions, Blaine, where the uh, conferences or the regional conferences have not been held because of the challenges of gatekeeping, as he said, infighting and factionalism, uh, he says that they are going to be dealing with those. They had last year, the leadership of the ANC had said that those conferences were going to be held uh, by February uh, this year. But uh, from Jabula, we still don't yet have an exact date as to when uh, those conferences are going to be held. But we have been seeing a lot of uh, uh, lobbying, a lot of factions have been meeting, camps uh, are meeting, uh, trying uh, to ensure that um, their uh, slates or their uh, members who they want uh, to be elected as the regional leaders, that uh, they are uh, uh, eventually uh, succeed and get uh, those uh, positions. So it's going to be interesting what the message of the ANC Secretary General is going to be uh, to these uh, ANC uh, members but we expected a plane around midday they said um, they said about uh, 12 o'clock uh, that is when he's likely to uh, deliver uh, his uh, main address for now it's back to you all right uh, I am Nam live for us on the KwaZulu Natal